a seamless experience, a customer experience, um, and thinking about a near real-time response, the, the traffic officers and their role in keeping us safe and, and the future for the traffic officers. So maybe, yeah, yeah you could tell yeah, us a little sure. about that. So, so most of us are never going to experience, hopefully, having to come to a stop on the strategic road network. Um, but in the event that you do, then you kind of really want to see a traffic officer there and effectively they provide our frontline response um, to incidents. So the ability to verify that incidents are happening on our network and get that response to those incidents is absolutely vital. Um, and equally, as much advanced information as you can have about what's happening at the incidents is really important as well. So that enables us to dictate then what other resources might be required to support um, the management of an incident on our network. So how quickly we need to get emergency services services there and um, how quickly we might need to get a recovery um, truck to scene to uh, actually reduce the impact on the customer experience as well as enhance the safety of those that are operating in that environment. Um, you know, traffic officers do a range of um, activities, they're highly trained professionals out on our network, um, so they're also addressing the welfare and the well-being, understanding how um, queues are building um, in a, as a result of an incident is really important, it helps prioritise decision making around diversion routes, prioritising decision making around um, getting welfare uh, resources out there, whether that's bottles of water in the summer or you know, space blankets in the winter, what is it that we need to do to look after people that might have been, um, might potentially be stranded on our network for some period of time. So all of that sort of data and intelligence that can come into a control room in particular, um, and, and, and we use a lot of technology in control rooms, whether it's CCTV imagery, whether it's um, information from the general public um, or other responders on our network, all of that sort of triangulates to inform the response that we would deliver and how we go about um, managing those incidents as well. And then of course our traffic officers play a role as general custodians of the network, so actually looking at the infrastructure itself, you know, when they're not attending incidents, um, they're actually caring about the infrastructure and actually um, looking at defects, potential hazards on our network, debris um, left lying around and actually how we're going to um, go and kind of tackle those um, issues and actually what is what, what sort of capability their vehicles and imagery that they have on their vehicles potentially give them in the future. So they have dash cams front and back, got body cameras as well, so there's actually a lot of capability within their own vehicles to kind of detect um, potentially some of the defects um, that are out on the network and allow us to kind of go and resolve those more rapidly as well.